Lake Scugog is, a, is an aging lake, and over time, a lot of sediment um, has, has flowed into the lake, making it a shallower lake, contributing to sedimentation. One of the goals of our stewardship program is to help shoreline landowners do a couple of things to prevent that sedimentation from occurring. Residents of Pine Point did have uh, very green lawns right up to the shoreline and they were finding that they were having a lot of issues with ice jacking and shoreline erosion. They started to look for different options of ways that they could prevent this from happening and they found that one of the, one of the best things they could do was to naturalize their shoreline. Well, when we moved here 19 years ago, Everything was weed-eated right to the front. Everyone was motivated to keep their lawns like they, in the subdivisions, and uh, it didn't look very good. I think if we want to save our lakes, we have to do it. We don't really have a choice. Once you know what's needed, you have to get on board. You can't back off and say, well, let somebody else do it. We called ourselves a blue heron shoreline naturalists. Something as simple as, as planting native plants or even as simple as not mowing right up to the shoreline. It creates a buffer, so it prevents uh, water and, and contaminants from entering the lake. And the water itself can contain sediments as well as uh, contamination and nutrients, so phosphorus and, and forms of nitrogen as well. At Pine Point, they hired a environmental engineer and came up with a little bit more of a substantial plan to protect the shoreline from erosion. It started in 2004. Of course, the shoreline has grown and it looks natural, probably to what it did 100 years ago. There's actually about 2,000 feet of shoreline that they've been managing together as a community. We have to be stewards of the earth. And if we don't take on the job, we're, we will lose our planet. It's a big uh, initiative.